Yu Jing Zhang, Science. How we think, walk, and run is all tied into the precise movement of proteins across cell membranes. At UT Southwestern Medical Center, Dr. Yu Jing Zhang is working to solve the mystery of how these specific protein movements, called protein transports, impact the body and their role in disease. Uh, did you get crystals? Yes, I'm gonna show you later. Okay, big, yes. nice one. Using X-ray crystallography, Yu Jing's team is able to study what protein pathways look like under varying circumstances. So how about the other crystal form? These three-dimensional crystal images allow Yu Jing and his students to identify disruptions or imbalances in protein transport, which can result in abnormalities like heart arrhythmia. Yu Jing believes the more we know about these movements, the more likely scientists can develop treatments to fight these disorders. Once you know the fundamental properties of a protein, it will help when you move on to more sort of practical questions. To correct, say, an arrhythmia, a cardiologist will prescribe a medication that affects the movement of calcium ions in or out of the heart cell, and the way that those calcium ions get in and out of the cell is in part through the proteins and the class of proteins that Dr. Zhang studies. One of Yu Jing's most notable breakthroughs is in his research of a protein labeled the big potassium channel, a potential target for drugs that could treat stroke symptoms and movement disorders like multiple sclerosis. Eventually, we're going to slowly move towards more sort of uh, medical relevant proteins like human channel proteins. Once we have that, we can use so-called structure-based drug design to find the blocker or some modulator to change the function of the protein. It's the, our eventual goal. <laughs> Yu Jing credits the impact of his mentors for enabling his success, including Nobel Prize winner Rod McKinnon. Now, as his work gains wider relevance in a whole range of disciplines, Yu Jing has become the one making the impact. His work is not only of interest to the protein uh, biochemist or to the electrophysiologist, but also it has great practical applications. It ranges from cardiology to uh, neurology to disorders that affect movement. All target these class of proteins that he works on.